Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to actually um, clear their device cache on any Samsung device. Now this is a Samsung Galaxy S6. It will actually work with any Samsung. So simple method here, I'm going to show you from simple to complex. Now the easiest way is to clear cache on your device is to actually go to settings. Once you're in um, settings, go to storage. And then you go look for cache data. It should say calculating. Just give it a few um, seconds. This is a calculating. And there you go. I've just recently cleared this so there's not much. And then you can go ahead and hit delete. It will delete the cache. I don't want to really do it right now. That's one of the simplest ways. And that does not require software. Now, if you want to do software, you can go into the um, Play Store and search cache cleaner or cleaning um, software. As most cleaning software will actually clear um, cache. And one of the ones that I recommend, or you could actually try, you can use anything you want, is Clean Master. So all you have to do is go ahead and launch Clean Master. Here under what is it, where it says Junk Files, it will actually scan and of course it will find cache, as you see there, cache junk, and it will calculate um, various junk files that can be removed, such as add junk, obsolete APK files, and a bunch of other stuff, and it will actually clear these up. You can go ahead and say clean junk and of course it will clear the cache of the device so that's method number two method number three you can go into settings and go into apps or application depending on your device you can go into application manager and what you can do here is you can clear the cache of a specific app for example if i wanted to clear the cache of chrome i would um, click on chrome i'll then scroll down and as you see here if there's any cache to be cleared you can go ahead and clear cache now because i just use that other app to clear cache there's no cache to be cleared i have to actually launch the j sorry the browser and actually browse a few sites before there will be cache but once it's actually highlighted you can go ahead and tap clear cache and it will actually clear the cache so that's method number three now uh, method number four would involve you powering down the device and holding a special button combination and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, and here we are in the mode, and this is called recovery mode. In order to get to recovery mode, the first thing you need to do is to power down your phone. In the interest of time, I have actually cut out that method, and you'll hold down volume up, you'll hold power, and of course the home button. And as the phone is booting, you'll boot into this mode. As soon as you see the screen, you can actually let go, and what will happen is that you'll be in um, recovery. Now, you need to be careful once in here as you'll use, I'll just focus here, you'll actually use um, volume up and down to navigate while you'll use power button to select. Now the option you want to look for here, if I can come close enough, is the one that says wipe cache partition. So you're going to use volume down and you're going to reach down here that says wipe cache partition. You don't have to worry as it will not delete anything from your phone that you cannot um, afford to lose. I won't do it on this device, but you'll hit power right now. It will say wipe in cache at the bottom here. And once cache is wiped, you can actually go back up top, up here. And then, um, sorry, reboot system um, No, Now, um, this is quite straightforward. All right, guys. So if you have found this tutorial useful now to clear cache, I'll give you four key methods from simple to very complex. So. Guys, if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, please give us a thumbs up. If you did not, please give us a thumbs down. So, rather from Blog Tech Tips, saying bye until next time. Bye.